Look what Hacker sent me here today. The Lenovo LP80 or Think Plus Live Pots LP80. Uh, this is a very interesting headphone that I want to try out, unbox and yeah, give you a small review. So let's get started. So the LivePods LP80 you can get currently on Hacker.com. If you don't know Hacker.com, here's a short little intro. Hacker is an online platform which offers affordable and well-made gadgets, smartphones, laptops and other electronic products from famous brands like Lenovo, Xiaomi, OnePlus and many more. If you want to buy something from Hacker, get your discount code PODCAST10 now to save $10 on your first order. You can get the LP80 on hacker.com for roughly 20 euros, a little bit more than 20 euros. It fluctuates a little bit here and there. But take a look out for promotion codes as well and use my promotion code to get a little bit more off. So what's inside of this here? Of course the headphones and a cable. That's basically everything. So it's a very, very small unboxing. You get a nice little paper. Instructions are also in English available, which, which is pretty nice. And we have yeah, the packaging here with a little USB-C to A cable. And that's basically it in the packaging itself. On the box, on the back of the box, you see some specifications. And here you can see that the headphones should last for around four hours and you should be uh, able to charge the case as well in about one hour and a little bit. So the Lenovo Link, uh, Lenovo LifePods LP80, this is how they call it. This is how they look like, very futuristic. They come in this very transparent design and case, which is super, super interesting, I would say. And a Lenovo logo, of course, in the front. You can open it up like this and then you have the headphones there you see some lights glowing through which is also pretty nice they're searching now for something to connect to and at the bottom of the case we have a usb type c port where we can charge this thing up and of course there's an led on the front so the earbuds itself let me show you one of the earbuds itself so this is one of the earbuds itself. You can see this is an open fit design that we have here on this earbud. So it will be putting into the ear like this and it's open fit. So you don't have any kind of thing that goes into your ear canal directly. This is sitting at the outside of your ear canal. So I can still hear the voices around me, which is pretty nice if you're going cycling or running outside. Though running with these, uh, we will see. Um, so these headphones are very cheap. They have a design that kind of reminds me of the uh, AirPods 3 from Apple. It doesn't, it's not bad and they are very, very lightweight, I have to say. If you put them in your ear, you almost don't feel them. It's just like so light and small and you can see it here in my ear. One of the good things, it's very, very lightweight. You forget that you are wearing them, especially if you have both in your ears. Let me put both in my ear here right now. You just forget that you're having them. Another interesting thing about this one is how are they controlled? They have here on the stem a touch area that you can touch and hold and press. So you squeeze basically here to have a control. You can have like a long control for skipping a song. So you press this here, hold it long in your ear and it skips forward. Or you press this one here, it skips backward. So next and previous song. And uh, of course you can have also double tap to raise the volume, uh, double tap here to uh, lower the volume, one tap here or here to pause and play and switch between, which is also pretty nice and neat and works without any issues. The sound, of course, of open fit ears is always like a little bit something that it's hard to tell you 
how it will sound for you. I can only tell you how it's sounding for me because open fit really depends because it's one one form only. You don't have any options to put like a silicon silica tip in here to adjust its form to your ear. So it all depends how good they fit in your ear. They're fitting perfectly in my ear, better here on the right side, a little bit looser here on the left side. So that might happen to you as well. So the sound depends, of course, how good they fit. So on this ear, what I usually do is twist them a little bit in so I get a better ceiling on my ear canal and then I have also a little bit better sound quality. So this is something that I don't have to use here because here it's fitting nice here I have to do it. But if you have them incorrectly you get good audio quality, you get good bass, you get good highs. So the typical V shape of a headphone that you would uh, normally hear. And of course they're Bluetooth 5.0 so you don't have any issues with connection and you can connect them to almost every smartphone. I tried out Android smartphones, I tried out Safe smartphones, I tried out iOS smartphones so iPhones are working fine as well. AAC is the audio codec that is used here. It's working fine as well, no issues there at all. Uh, when it comes to usage in sports I would say uh, very light sports because it all depends on the fit. If they're not fitting well enough, first of all, you don't get good bass, you don't get good sound quality in general, but it's also not good for sports then. And even those here that are fitting nicely in my ear and here I have to twist on my left ear, I would only use for jogging maybe outside, running a little bit, but not for anything else because if I do like this and this, they become so loose that they rattle around here. Um, they did never fell off, but still I have like the fear that they could fell, fall off, which is like something that, uh, yeah, is an issue. Then to get the negative things out of the way of those headphones, uh, one thing that I noticed is, first of all, they're a little bit harder to get out because, yeah, you have to get them out like this. And what I noticed is usually what I do when I have them, I take them, usually headphones like this and this, but as there's this the squeeze sensor it's very very sensitive actually it's not really squeezing it's just like a sensor in the front I think that is working uh, it is super sensitive so if I put them like this I already start playing something back or skipping tracks or adjusting volume or starting the Google Assistant voice assistant or something like this so this is a little bit of an issue so what I noticed is you see that there is on um, this headphone there is like this this area that is a little bit flat this is the touch area, so just avoid using the touch area. So uh, just don't touch it, just take them like this and put them in your ear. Maybe it's a little bit weird, but maybe they should have add the touch area here so you can take them off like this instead. Um, now you have to take them on like this, which is a little bit harder to do. So getting a little bit out of this is a bit flimsy, but it's not a major issue. You can learn, uh, you can learn this because usually uh, put one in and you get it out. So getting it out like I heard from some other YouTuber is not an issue here uh, for me at least. What I had an issue with is like really the flimsy control. Sometimes you touch the control here and it's not reacting directly especially the play and pause which is like super annoying because you do it again and then it pauses for a second and then it plays again because it registers two times play and pause which is a bit of an odd um, issue and I hope Lenovo can just simply fix it somehow with firm firmware. But there's an issue, how do I get the firmware on it because there's no app for it right now. So I cannot update this. So touch controls are so and so. What works much, much better is like the control for audio, double tap here to lower it or here to raise it. No issues at all. And also what's working fine is press and hold press and hold to skip to the next song is working fine without any issues at all. I told you about the typical V-shaped sounds so the bass and the highs are pretty good. The mids are a little bit recessed and missing I would say. You don't get yeah, harsh sounding highs sometimes maybe a little bit silent but this is still acceptable. We are talking about a little bit over 20 euros so no issues at all with this headphone when it comes to this. Uh, sometimes very immersive sound even. If I, like I said, the little trick here, twisted a little bit on my left ear because it's like formed differently than this one, I get very immersive sound. And listening to some music sounds, especially Ultra HD, I know these only AACs or not, but when I was listening to some sounds, I was like, 
was someone speaking to me like i was like really because someone i was hearing some sounds uh, that i usually um, when listening via normal speakers don't hear and here you have this sound but on these headphones on this pair what i also noticed is the sound is a little bit unbalanced it could be because it's not fitting correctly here in my ear but even if I put it here nicely and hold it here to have a perfect ceiling, I always have the feeling that voice, sound, um, yeah, a song, lyrics, and the singer itself is always in my left ear. So the sound is always coming from behind uh, right, not left, uh, behind right here, your left, my right. Hopefully it's, it's correct. So my here, my this side is coming from here, always like this. The voice and here music 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 but voice is always from here instead of like in the middle or something like this which is like a little bit awkward i have to say but it's not it's still immersive the sound is still good i would say for over a little bit over 20 u uh, euros it's like uh, a no-brainer just get, you get a nice case what i don't like about the case is it's pretty big <laughs> you don't see it right now. it looks like a poker ball a little bit um it's a bit big because you can see maybe that there's a white case inside and there is a little bit of air there which i don't know why there's air in between this white case they could make it a little bit smaller or what i would also prefer make the case a little bit bigger so they have a better a bigger battery inside here if you have such a big case otherwise it's just yeah an attempted design that uh, looks okay, but it, it is not optimized in, in usage. So it's not as practical as it looks like. Let's say it like this. Um, it's a very cheap device. And what can you expect from a cheap device? The microphone quality is not the best. It's a little bit muffled here and there, but you can still use it for voice calls and the other one will clearly hear you i wouldn't use them for connecting to a smartphone to filming yourself vlog yourself um, only in emergency situations because the sound is not as good as your smartphone sound in this case uh, the lenovo lp80 microphone quality i hope they are in use here and uh, this is the microphone quality that you can expect of the lp80 so i wouldn't use it for this but um, i think the main attraction for them are really using them for listening to music listening to podcasts and this is what they are good to also listening youtube there's no lip sync issue that you usually get when listening to youtube no issues with this uh, easy pairing is also possible so i don't have them paired right now um, or i have them paired actually with with a device that i have uh, somewhere else not in this room here not in this house not in this uh, apartment what i can do is just like open them up they go into pairing mode i can connect to another app uh, another a smartphone or another computer or laptop or anything or tablet and what i can do also is like disconnect from one device and then they automatically go into pairing mode and i can connect to another device without any issue so it doesn't have multi-functionality but it's also a no-brainer no issues at all and it has to work this way because there's no button or anything to bring them into pairing mode they have to be into this pairing mode so what they do now if i um, open them up they try to connect to the device that they were connected previously with if they fail they will go automatically into pairing mode and they can just pair it up with another device which is pretty awesome and good so it's a no-brainer with this uh, it works just without any issues uh, charging is also fine um, when it comes to the run times yeah four hours it depends on how loud you're listening to but four hours you can reach three and a half hours to four hours is what you can reach and i think you can charge them up uh, so you can get a 22 hours uh, uh, total time so that means like uh, four hours uh, and then three times um, four times four times five times five times you can charge them up i think as well something like this yeah a little bit less maybe four times three three four times you can charge them up uh, this is what i i usually got it all depends on how loud you're listening how often you're putting them into the case and they recharge and refill so i don't have like the exact values but uh, it's it's okay you four hours podcast or something like this in germany yeah you can get four hour podcasts i'm not so sure about other countries 
uh, you don't have any issues. It's not not a headphone for like um, if you are traveling via airplane or, or longer travels or something like this. Want to have them into your ear? They are very comfortable for sure, but they don't have noise cancellation or anything else. And uh, they are more like for day-to-day -day stuff. You go shopping and want to listen to your uh, podcast, still want to hear your surroundings a little bit creeping in. So what I notice with them is. Con contrary to the AirPods and contrary to the FreeBuds, for example, that I also use also open fit designs where you hear a little bit more from the outside world or, of course, the Sony uh, LinkBuds. Those, they can have a bit of a tighter seal, which is interesting, uh, probably because of their shape. I didn't try out the AirPods free that also have a similar shape. Maybe they have a similar kind of um, yeah, more immersive sound where it's blocking out a little bit of more of the outside sound. But still, if someone wants to talk to you or something like this, it's not like they have to go and shout at you or uh, poke you <laughs> or something like this. They can just uh, yeah, call you and you will hear them because this is not very sealing all the time. So pretty good device. I think for a little bit over 20 euros, it's a no brainer. I'm not sure if you can get better ones in terms of open fit for this price point that fits so good, that works so well, that have this sound quality, eight millimeter drivers inside here, which uh, pump out good sound and good music, typical V shape, like I said. So I can recommend them for this price point if you don't find anything that is in the same price region that is uh, yeah, better in terms of open fit, I don't think you'll find anything there. Um, if you find something for the 20 euro rich with in-ears, Lenovo also has some other in-ears also in this price region that probably have the same drivers or very similar drivers, good sound quality as well. You can also find them on hacker.com and you can also uh, of course, use my promo code uh, down below that uh, to check them out there as well. Otherwise, this is a good product. I can recommend this for people who don't like this in-ear style, that like open fit designs and don't want to spend like a lot of money for this. Just like maybe if you like music, like to listen to music and you want a second pair that you can also use for a vacation or something like this or for commuting daily stuff where if you lose them or they break, you don't have like a, yeah, a big cry out that now 200 euros are gone now. This is like a little bit over 20 euros and you're good to go. So that's everything for this little review on the Lenovo LP80. What do you think? Do you have them? Do you have any other Lenovo devices? Do you think they are good? Um, like I said, the only downside here, I would say, is the flimsy, a little bit flimsy controls of those. And uh, the rest, I think, is pretty awesome and pretty good for, for uh, yeah, a normal mainstream headphone. Um, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.